Hello, and welcome to Open Dental Software's webinar on orthodontic charting. In this webinar, we will discuss how to add the various appliances and hardware into Open Dental and onto the patient's tooth chart. For the initial ortho setup, we're going to go to Setup and then Ortho. Most of these items would have already been set up in a previous webinar. The fields that we're going to specifically go over today are the hardware specs and the prescriptions. These are additional features now. With the hardware specs, I'm going to go ahead and click Setup. And these are the different brackets that I've added, different wires, and different elastics. To add another hardware spec, I'm simply going to add another wire, a different type. I'm going to click Add. And this is going to be a stainless steel 18 rectangle. We can customize the colors to be whatever we want. I personally have blue for all my stainless steel hardware and a darker gray for the nickel titanium. We'll click OK. And we now have that as a hardware spec. For the prescriptions, I'm going to go ahead and click Setup. There's some that are already set up. We have both Roth and Damon brackets. For the entire mouth, we have elastics. And let me add the rectangular one for the stainless steel that I just added with that hardware. So for that prescription, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click Add. We already have the lower. I'm going to generate the upper one. Stainless steel, 15, rectangle, upper. I want to use that stainless steel 18 for the hardware spec I just created. And for the tooth ranges, I can either put in individual tooths. And if you haven't noticed already, with the ortho chart, all of the teeth are labeled 1 through 7 by quadrant. And you'll see this in the chart module in a moment here. For this tooth range, I want to do the upper. So I'm just going to simply click upper. And that fills in that re related information. If I had chosen lower, that changes as well as all, which will not work with wires. So I'm going to do upper and click OK. And there is our stainless steel 18 rectangular for the upper. I can do it as well for the lower. So for the lower, so we have the lower, whatever description we would like, pick our hardware spec. If we need to edit anything for this one, this is the 18 gauge rectangular. So I can simply edit the title to have it show as intended. Let's create one for the 15 square for the upper. Again, stainless steel. 15 square. And upper. Stainless steel, 15 square. Click into the tooth range, upper. And now we have all of our hardware prescriptions. I'm going to rearrange this to have 
all of the squares in one area. Nickel titanium, upper than lower. I'll go ahead and click close. We'll click OK out of here. And now in the chart module, we have our ortho tab. When we click on that, we can see how the teeth are numbered one through seven, mesial to distal by each quadrant. To go ahead and add hardware, we're gonna go ahead and click add prescription or just prescription. And this gives us a pick list of the different prescriptions that we set up previously. I'm gonna go ahead and choose Roth, use the select to move it over into our selected area. We can also highlight several at the same time. So nickel titanium for the upper and lower. And I'm gonna select elastics left and right. And when we click OK, that's now added that information to the patient's chart. We can still click the Inner Treatment tab, and those, that information also shows up with the regular tooth numbering. In the wires and the location automatically adjust according to tooth position. As we can see here in this tooth number nine. We want to go ahead and show this is different movements. We can see that those wires in the teeth move accordingly. Let's go to another patient and I'll go review the copy feature for an exam. Here's the initial, initial placement we had on 6-1. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click copy. Yes, I would like to do that. And now we have a new exam. We have both the 6-1 and the 6-2. Now with our other patient, all the wisdom teeth were already removed and this patient still has the lowers, we can extend the information to these other teeth. We can select one at a time or both. And we're gonna click add single. And we're gonna do another Roth bracket. And a nickel titanium wire. Because we have both of these teeth selected, it will add that information to both teeth at the same time. And as we use the drop down on the initial exam on 6-1, we didn't have those teeth in those lower quadrants. And we do in this one. If we want to remove information, we can simply highlight the exam. Let's add some elastics onto this one. Prescriptions in elastics left and right. Select to bring them into the tooth chart. We can see the elastics are there. If we charted something we didn't want to, we can simply highlight those items, right click, and click delete. We also have the ortho chart. And so for the exam today, here's where we can do our normal ortho charting. Purpose of today's exam. We'll just call it the initial. And we can have these columns set up to be any way you want. The doctor can sign the chart. And 
next visit. We'll click OK. And we have that information also available in that same ortho tab under ortho chart. That concludes our webinar on ortho charting. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have additional questions, please call our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And to make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications.